I am here vibing with another legendary figure in Jamaica's entertainment industry. A bassist extraordinaire, vocalist, producer, a man who has touched all aspects of the Jamaican music genre. His parents named him Lloyd Parks, and today he shares his story. Sir Parks. Yes, man. All is well, sir. Greetings, my brother. Man. Everything nice. Sharp. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hope I don't cut. Yeah, you don't cut. You yeah. don't cut, man. So all is well, bro. All is well, man. Give God thanks, man. Yes. Because, you know. For a man who was born in, I don't know if you have a problem, 1948. They're looking very Na, young, no, sir. No, 1949. 1949. I've seen um, some miss. Yeah, yeah, but it's really 1949. Yeah, yeah, I'm 72. I'm 72 years old. <laughs> yeah. And I turn it back for you, 27. 27. <laughs> and I really feel good. I feel like 27. Feel Believe like me. 27. Give God thanks to that again. Yes. You know, but. It's good to see you, sir. Yeah, man. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! So Father Parks, mm. Sir Lloyd Parks. Yeah, man. All is well. All is well. And it's a joy to be sitting here beside you, sir. Yeah, man, it's a pleasure. Teach them. <laughs> a man whose footprint and fingerprint is all over and the music is a joy. Yeah, man. A man like you kind of set the foundation and make it possible for a man like me to do what I do. You understand? Definitely. Talk to us, though. Early life, place of birth. Well, I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Galloway Road, when I checked the birth certificate. But, um, you know, we, moved, we used to live in a tenement yard, so we're parents from here, there. Right. Maxfield Avenue, Delo Creek Road, all over the place. All over the place. But um, my mother and my father separated when I was about seven years old. Yes. My mother. Oh. And uh, she went to England and my father actually brought us up, you know? Yes. So when I reached 13 years old now, my father had some relative in Port Antonio. He, he wanted to go to England, you know? Well, and time the Jamaican used to go to England yes, and, thing and, and take us to Port Antonio. So I spent four years there. Mm. So from 13 years old to 17. To 17. And then it was really rough. The yeah. experience was good, trust me, because you know, you, you learn about tough life and things. Because before that, my father had a restaurant in Crossroads. So we're not going to school. He said, Take your lunch money out of the till, man. So it things was, are right. All right, right so far. You know, you started carrying things in the Maxfield Park Children's Home. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't have a brother. So maybe that, oh. that is what really motivated me. Just, you know? Yes. However, Come back to Kingston when I was 17. Lived in the house with my aunt, my mother's sister. And um, I mean, may I soul rest in peace. She and her husband she never rejected me at all because I was under pressure in Port Antonio. So I have to come back. In fact, run back, run away. Oh, you run away from yes, Port Antonio? Yes, man, and come back to Kingston. And then I was living in the house at the time. And there was another lady called Miss Lena. She was like a mother to me, a father of. A friend of my father, oh, you know. Yeah. Um, she passed as well. Mm, you are so, so during the time in um, Waterhouse Toil, I met a guy called Wentworth Ver Vernon, Vernon, you know. Mm. And um, could have strung him guitar, one and two, three cars. He taught me, incidentally. Wentworth he taught, he, he taught me, but I'm going to tell you the story. So. <laughs> he asked me to join a group that would do it. Yes. And the name of the group was a termite. Termite. Mr. Boss. Strange name. Mr. Boss. 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 It never, it never go anywhere. So we went to Studio One. Well, I went to Treasure Isle first, you know, for addition. That down at the Oak. And then never work out, so we go to Studio One. Uh, um, Coxon, don't be of a style, you know, him say. Jackson. Jackson, everybody <laughs> named Jackson. Everybody <laughs> named Jackson. Yeah. He say, I said, born 10 VP. Seven pound per, seven pound ten we pay you know. You never even care. Seven can pound me? ten. Yeah, at the time we record a tune yes. against him. You never even care. Come you uh, bust, so to speak. Yes. Nobody is talking. So we record a song called Have Mercy, Mr. Percy. 
Oh, before that, right. B.B. Seaton from the Gaelers was the one who was doing the audition. The he, he always talk about it. Remember the audition, you know? Yeah. Nice B. guy. B.B. still around? Yeah, man, I'm okay. the England. Yeah. So, audition, but what they do, musicians, like, like, like every Thursday they have session. So if with the audition, you, you are right, you just go straight to the studio. Ah. So, we were lucky that day. In fact, the first time though, I went to the studio when Mr. Dad said, Coxon, I'm not so good, you know, but you have to go and go listen to your radio, you know. <laughs> At least he was a nice guy. Right, when right, I go to right. Treasure Island, you know, Juki just said, Next! That's what's so real. And you just creep out and go away. But Coxon said, Go on, go on, come back with a tune here. I've merged Mr. Percy. And it's, it, it went on the top ten. Yes? Yeah. Uh, that it, was you alone, are you? No, me and went and to work. Me, I went to work, the okay, termites. Okay. So, yeah, man. Nice. So I'm saying, you know, Jackson, I want to work at the album. I you said, know? <laughs> <laughs> album? Mm. My virgin come tell me, I said, but I want to work at the album, you know. Work at the album, man. Give thanks because the album becoming like a masterpiece. It's still on the market. If you know what to say, if you if you know what to say, it's called Do the Rack City. They 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 they, they uh, what are you saying? Oh, they, they modify it and mm. make it sound, you know. But I'm going to get a joke now before that. When we get the seven pound ten, we use it. We use them by a guitar. Oh. Right. No, went to it for, I didn't want to go guitar. Went to it for and taught me, teach me the first three cards on the guitar. Let me get for love. And I was it. just an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar. I said, yes. And that was history because I never stopped. You know? So everything that has happened your journey started out from. Mr. Vernal teaching you yeah, to play yeah. the acoustic. Before that, you know, my uncle said, that's a Brian, Dory. You see, you, you know it too much. I <laughs> do look research. Oh, okay. yeah, you know, I have a look at Ban and like a Calypso Ban and been playing banjo. You okay. see, you see, go and try and sing a tune, sing Umpty Dumpty and all them tunes, like Mount Mary song, <laughs> Monica and Buy Life and Feel Good. Yeah. Get to sing a tune and you should go to them and sing. And because I, I love the music from them time, like even before, you know. You know, so. We back, go back to this thing. So we, the first um, three cards went to it. Improved myself, start to play. Then, in the same era, now you have a local community center run by a man. Them call him Father Gordon from Spanish Town Road. His thing was called Rainbow Healing Temple. It's a Rasta man, mm. but him, him no lax. <laughs> <laughs> him look like Silasi, and yeah. we were the same cap and badges like Silasi. Give thanks to him too, because he was the one that come in the neighborhood and he had a bakery down there. You know? mm -hmm. And him have another um, extension, the one in the water was Olympic way. And him come and him get some insurance for the youth them and thing and that helps me a lot, you know? Yes. And him form a band now named R.H. The Invincibles, right? Nancy Collins and keyboard. Randy. Um, a guy named Scotty on guitar. Mm -hmm. G.T. Taylor. You mean G.T. Taylor? Upon the radio. R.F.M.? Yes. Him was like, he used to like an MC, but him do like a singing too. Yeah? Yes, man. <laughs> teach the you, teach them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not with you. I I respect your program, man. Yes, so, he was a singer. I'm trying to remember now. Tarzan was in the group as well? No, no, no. no. That was skin flesh and bone. You're so okay. rich, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And start to improve by my guitar. I start to play rhythm guitar in the band now. Uh -huh. You know? And this guy named Scotty. Uh, he plays on the first version of official and he feel a little better. Okay. And another story behind it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, improve and thing and we used to play a Victor up here and all them place. You know, Scatter Lines used to play them, but we get a little stint sometime maybe upon a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But I me was a face to look at you would still. Not disrespectful, but I don't Spice. take. Yeah. So I said to Father Good, so why when we play on a Wednesday? We have to wait till the next Wednesday if we get paid. <laughs> the time we get two shillings. 
Yeah. Him say, wait, you're bright. Take it or leave it. Shall I leave it? <laughs> and where does I leave it? This, this man, there was a club up a stable, um, Redders Road called Stable. Stable. You had Stable and you had Tit for Tat. Right. Those two club of band, they play live music and thing. And by the next week, this guitarist named Bobby Akins, he's the brother of Laurel Akins, that sing, um, I remember, you know that song? He called me and said, yeah, 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 we have a look at job for you. I said, what? Well, I said, no, when do we close it open? And I tell you something. He said, hear me now, youth, we only can pay you 13, 13, 13, you call it now? Shilling? No, 13 pounds. 13 pounds. That time a big salary, that thing. Yeah, because you move from two shillings every Wednesday. But we play now, we play like three, three. three we, play Wednesday, week. we play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, but, but that's still good food. But 13 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, watch out now. This is where we start. I go open my little bank book at Citizen Bank. Yes. Come here and say, no, this is it. You know, and start to play and nice and thing and you know. They had they used to have go-go dancers up there too at the, at the club. But a good I mean, place, man. No, I know at that time, <laughs> go-go dancers were like creative. Kind of taboo. Like creative dancers with oh, them. Oh, 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 okay. I don't know. Pole it's thing not the center pole thing. New no. thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then a whole lot of artists used to come up there because they go ahead and pretty, you know. Yeah. You know, I call the big artists them name, you know, but I tell you. Don't call it name, man. Them, them used to come up there and, <laughs> and big artists, you know. I sing all some tune, we just play and back them up because they forget a girl and thing. And, however, it was fun, you know. Part of the journey, it was fun. Yeah. So, there, I said to myself, say, you know, we used to play at one stage. Tyrone Down used to play organ, you know, by okay. um, Bob Marley. Okay. Keyboard player. He used to play um, um, keyboard in the band. So one night I was singing a tune, I feel a little better since you came home. And him said, officially. Oh. Say, say. Because the kind of song was, if you can look it up, you know, on YouTube, yeah. feel a little better, and you hear it without the official. And I say, no respect to Tyrone, the older man. And re record the song. I'm put in officially. Right? Yeah. And then make a look apart and say, if you want to be my queen, you've got to be officially. Yeah. Fly away. Fly away, number one. Everybody start to say, but I'm going to check my girl officially, you know. <laughs> Lloydie, am I officially? <laughs> All kind of things start to happen. <laughs> yeah. Because I always. Proactive, or you know, try to be innovative. You know, I said to the musician, I said, but where do some session for this producer? Get your tape, me get my tape. You get, you, you, you saw taxi thing start, you know, it's slide them, you know, fly rabbit, you know, you see him training, and we started that. And I said, well, you play for me, I play for you, and we have a tape, and we just play this two at a time. But I was a lucky one, I come out with it officially. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you know? that is how that was born. Yeah, and then mm. it continues and certain guy Joe so slice team up with Robbie and start to do the same thing. Mm. Yeah. And and it's it funny you know, because even mafia. When I made that rhythm, you know, it's me and Sly played, me and Sly and Auntie Collins. I played the the melody on it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's try, just try a thing, you know. We yeah. come from the ghetto and thing, and <laughs> let's try. Cause you know, reggae is really a ghetto music, you know, yeah. and and that inspiration you get from this. So that's why a lot of people, I mean, just can. You have some people just born for the reggae, yes, sir. Yes. All right, so we might come back to official, but mafia, we make the rhythm, mm -hmm. and a guy named Bobby. Me. I'm a, I said, well, I said, mafia. I said, but lady, he's not really a mafia, you know. <laughs> but you have mafias out there, you know, so they will love it, you know. Yeah. You saw that song born again, you know. Just like that. So most people say, are oh, you a mafia? I said, no, nah, I just make it free, make the mafia them sing it. But that was, that's one of my big, that is one of my biggest songs in, in Europe, you know. Mafia. Yes, man. You see, so. But, um, 
I think we bypass um, when I left stable club. Yeah, man, because we are, we, are, we are gonna take you back from yeah, yeah. some things that we kind of miss. But hold it right there for a minute. We yeah. could go back mm -hmm. from early on. But where did you attend school? Okay, okay. I attend um, Russell Primary, mm -hmm. and I moved from there to Tarrant Senior School. Okay. And then when I went to Port Antonio, you know, I got a um, Bone Book Senior Bone okay. Book Senior School. So I never really attended the high school, attending yes. the high school. So I used to waste time. Used you used to, to waste time? Yeah, I used to get trouble at school. Yeah? But the teacher them love me because I could have draw. Oh. <laughs> you know? So I get rid of a lot of stuff. But when I reach 15, 16, I start to realize, I know man, you're wasting time. And I try to really brush it back mm. and pick it back on where, you know? Yes. You mentioned earlier that you, mm. you, you didn't have a brother. Didn't have a brother. You, you have any siblings at all? Any brother or sister? I have, I have three sisters. Three sisters, but just no brother? No brother. Yeah, your sisters are still around? Yeah, man. Um, w um, two sisters live in England mm -hmm. and um, one sister in Jamaica. Yes. And mommy and daddy are still around? No. Mm. Daddy, daddy uh, passed, but okay. um, mommy is still around. Mommy is still around. Mommy is um, 93 years old now. Yes? Yeah. I love her Strong dearly. 93? Well, she f met um, um, Physically, yeah. I mean, she met in an accident, a, a, a car. She, she lives in England. Okay, okay. So a car ride up on the bank and damage her foot. Oh. But that's the only problem she have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mommy, not doing so bad, man. Not doing so bad. But we're glad for that. Talk to her every day, man. Yes. You also made mention that, especially when you went to Portland, things were rough financially. Not, not because of financially, but because of um, my dad, trusted me with these people, which were like his aunt. Oh. But it never worked out. They, were, they weren't real people. And treated me bad, bad, So he bad, brought you bad. to Portland and left for England? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. my, that's my dad. Right. So you things know. were rough. Yeah, man, rough. Well, but, but not just financially, but be, um, <laughs> treatment, treatment, emotionally. Treat, treatment. All the people who is alive now can testify to this as a living port. Yes. I look at a town called Breastwork. Breastwork, mm -hmm. a good place. You know it? No, I don't know. Because it's a Breastwork. Yeah, but, you know, I give thanks to that experience because it was rough and it made me tough. Yes. You know? Part of the journey. Part of the journey. Part man. of the journey. Because, you see, when I do officially, and the guys I mean, the era, era say, is me. They said, no, I lie on that. When I went back there, the guy told me, said, them fight because I'm answer. No, him, man, I'm answer. Him, man. But I went back in style. You went back? Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Go back I went back, back in style, in man. Style. <laughs> I went out, got the little lane in the little village. Yes. And park up my car and go visit me with some friends. And when I come up back, pure crowd in the district. Breast work, I Because they can't believe, say. It's the same person who used to live there and go through that. Mm. But um, give thanks for the journey. It, yes. it made me strong, uh. you know, and um, that was that. Yeah. So it's when you run away from Port Antonio and came back to town now, you start going up on the road with Uncle Brian. Exactly. Ah, okay. So I see the match now. And then that led now to RH the Invincible. Invincible. Mm. Yeah. And then RH the Invincible led to termites. No. Well, it led to termites, but it also led me to stable club. The band, then we call the band the Thoroughbreds. The okay. You know, so that was a band at the club. At the club. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, look at you. Cause you have a cutie. You have a, you have a bridge in to play keyboard. They named Bobby Calfat. Yes. He made lift up a red horse. And one night we see him ride a ass come. <laughs> 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 we saw all the all the bands and smells. So when you take a stack, the man have a ass downstairs. I'm ride. <laughs> <laughs> Him same camera, the, the bus business. Mm -hmm. It was a joke, but the club is named Stable. Stable. So, oh, in, so in, in, bring it bring us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stable. <laughs> yeah. That funny, that funny be true. So, so between RTH and Termites now, you started maturing in the music. Yeah. So from playing guitar and vocals. Guitar and vocals. And vocals. Yeah. Okay. So when you really discovered the vocal side of the door, you wanted to be a singer first. I wanted to be a singer you first. Wanted to be a singer definitely, first. definitely. Uh, you know. But so so when we started to play at um stable club, mm -hmm. my name Edgar Chin. It was nice, you know, it was nice to me. 
But something happened again. And as I said, don't take crap from people. Uh, so, and if you don't, you can leave. I said, yeah. eh? So at the same time now, no, I shouldn't go so far. Let me back up. Yes. I, I switched from guitar to bass. While, like while, guitar I was at, bass. while I was at Stable Club because oh. I'm, there was this bass player. While I'm playing rhythm guitar, Bobby Akins play lead, Andrew Collins on keyboard. Then you have this bass player named Tony. Well, hold on there, sir, like. Yeah. Stable band. Yeah. You, yeah. Andrew Collins. Yeah. Ranchi was in there as no, well? No, no. Aitken. Bobby Akins Bobby lead guitar, yeah. No big old band, that, sir. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then. <laughs> At one point now, Tyrone was playing keyboard too. And yeah. at another point, Bobby, um, Bobby Calfat was playing keyboard, the guy who right the ass. Oh, right the ass, right. So, <laughs> so, look at misunderstanding and believe the bass. No, let me back up again. I was switched from, from um, guitar to bass. Right. Was that like, the bass player named Tony Ramsey? Nice virgin. He never showed up the night. And I said to him, I said, you can say, I can play that, you know. And he said, you sure you can play that? Youth, youth, you can play that? He said, yes, I can play it. He said, Mr. Mr. Bobby Akins, then if the guitar have six strings, the bass only have four. He said, I should have He said, go on and trust me, you know, trust me. I'm not a boss. Yeah, you mash it up. But I never stopped playing bass after that night, you know. And you were about what, <coughs> how old at the time? About 20, yeah. 20, 20, about 26, I said, 25. 26, you're playing bass over 50 years. <coughs> but here it is now. <laughs> so when I leave Stable Club now, I go to Tit for Tat. That's when I join up with Skin, Flesh and Bones. Skin, Flesh and Bones. So Tarzan and Keyboard, Slide on Bar and Drum, Ranchi and Lee Guitar, Al Brown. And vocal, Cynthia Richards and vocal as so well. Al and Cynthia were the, the vocalists. The vocal for Skin Push and Bones. So we were playing night time, you know, because we're playing people dance and that time it was fun because you're just playing people just dance and go sit down and drink them liquor and get up back and dance. And then when we take the break, discotheque play, take half an hour break, come back. And, um, but them used to respond to the song named Here I Am Baby. Yeah, yeah. By Al, 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 um, Al Green. Yes. But Al, Al Brown used to sing it and sound exactly like, like Al, Al Green. Green. Dickie Wang, the boss man, said, You know, so better record the song. And then we we'll go in a studio and we did a good job because the first week, weekend it sold 2,000 copies. At the time, we used to have Randy's record. Mm. And we made us sell crazy, you know. And it became big. You know, and we end up um, going to England, go tour and all of them things there. Um, oh, you know, yes. So now, you can listen to the tune when you, when you have time. Yeah. And you might understand why it became, you know? A big hit. But everybody started to say, so who play the bass there? Uh, so I got to a big studio musician, you know. <laughs> you used to have, a great bass player I may respect, named Val Douglas. He used to play at Federal. Mm. It was a, like a pseudo band. And, but then Light Charmers, I don't know if you know that name. You know. No. He's a, he's a good producer. He produced, I've heard the name before. He produced songs like Everything I Own. Okay. With for Ken Booth and all that. He, was, oh, a yeah, yes, he yes. was a producer for Federal. What would them do them thing? But I'm saying, call me. Call them, say, wait, this bass player, who, who play them tune? And, and then, we play, I play a song like Fire Burning for, for, for Bob Andy. The original. Yes. Not the Master Griffiths one. Okay, I can't the original, okay, the original. Okay. And I play, and it was a hit. Play a tune like Everything I Own. That was number one. And, number one on British chart. Mm. So it can't it can make me popular now, internationally yeah. now. Before, it, not to cut you, the, yeah. Al, the Al Brown song. Mm -hmm. That never charted in, in England too? No, but it, it, it was a very popular, 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 oh, popular. Okay. Popular. Mm -hmm. Because we could have got tour on it and things. Okay. So now, everybody asks, so who play everything I own and all them tune and them tune there, and number one from British side, it's not easy to get there. Mm -hmm. So internationally now, and the first time I go to England, they started to call me the bass suicide. That time, poor little me. Bass suicide. Poor little me, you know, even. But just um, creative. 
Because <laughs> we ain't know now, I ain't never know them time, honestly. Yes, yes. Naturally. But I was naturally. just creative and, you know, sometimes, just what I want, I said to a lot of musicians, you know, you can know your instrument and do, but you see, you have to have a feel. You have to be steady, you have to have a spiel. I always say to the young musicians, because they ask me questions. Right. So you That's make sure you steady and you have feel and you can create a bass line. You know, it's all about, you can read the music and you can do this and you can't create. And that's why I read Slide Down by it so much. Self thought. And that's another thing again. Self thought musician is always the greatest musician. The first musician on the land and its earth was a self thought, right? Yeah. So you have to be the greatest musician when yeah. you're self thought. Because you can learn from other people too, you know. But when you're self thought. Brilliant. Brilliant. Speaking about Sly, mm -hmm. you and Sly were childhood friends. <laughs> oh, you know, I tell you, yeah, yeah but you think me, I'm teach them, so <laughs> teach them. Let me could teach them. Yes, talk to me about a relationship that we Yeah, man, we come bad. from way back, man, because when we were, we were living in Waterhouse, I was a man with a guitar, you know. I always walk with my guitar and thing, and I used to go by um, Sly and Ranchy too, because I thought Ranchy guitar. You, know. you thought Ranchy? Yeah, yeah. Ranjima clean. Yeah. And then after them switch to be simply right time and all them tune. I'm a pro time because I'm yes. a teacher. Okay. You understand? <laughs> play right time and um, I need a roof and have mercy with diamonds. Ranchi play all them things. I mean, I'm so rest in peace too. But you should go around with my guitar and coach. I don't want to call it coaching. Yeah. Sly said me coaching, but we don't want to call it no coach because I learned from Sly too. You know? but, but even before the guitar mm -hmm. came in, Sir, sir Parks, yeah. Sly used to beat him. I'm Sister Pale and they used to make your <laughs> sardine guitar and them something. Talk to you for, for the beginning of the thing, man. <laughs> Why? Just, I think you just, I'm just confirming all the way you know already. Yes. Yeah, man, it's true. It's <laughs> we true. are doing for the viewers, man. Yeah, man. The, it was, every day when, if I call Sly now, we talk about it, you know, because yeah. really, him say, when, when the mom see me come in with my guitar, she smiled. Yeah. But him dad said, go back to college. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so I always remember these things. Yeah, man, we come and slice. I want to be like Motown, Jim, you know. As I look at you, you know. Yes. And I say, I want to be like Lynn Tate. Because Lynn Tate was a man who come and modify, uplift the rocks that it is. You know. Yeah. Lynn you know. Tate. Lynn, Lynn Tate oh, is okay. a great guitar. He contributes a lot to our reggae music. Oh, okay. A lot of people don't know, but mm -hmm. you're hearing I'm it from me. That too. Yeah, man. So, and so. We practice and we practice and we practice and we practice till it reaches stage now where we start to join the same community band that I was telling about. Right. And, thing. and we just elevate ourselves. And, but we are friends from a long time, man. Yeah. Way back. Were you, you know? the first person to take him to the studio? Um, no. The first person was um, Ansel Collins. Ansel. Because guess what? He was the first person who took me to the studio too because and so was the first person who took, took to me to okay. in terms of playing yes, yes, recording yes, yes. and um Auntie Collins record a song record. the first song was um not double barrel Monk, no um Night Doctor Night Doctor okay a tune him now instrumental mm -hmm. I play guitar on that then this Auntie Collins second song was um double barrel double barrel British number one that you again. You played on that as well. Mm -hmm. You played bass or guitar? Guitar. Guitar. But the, the next top ten was one called Monkey Spanner. Monkey. <laughs> so, 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 Double Bile was number one on British charter. No respect to Hans because he's the first Jamaican to hit one on instrumentalist to hit number one. These things must be documented because a lot of people don't know that. Ansel Collins was the first Jamaican to reach number one on the British chart. Uh, instrumental. Instrumental. Right? And I have the pleasure of playing on that song. Mm. I'm really glad to be a part of it because yes. you, you call it foundation you know yeah it is it is that exactly yeah, that and it's from there the whole thing started yes. and, thing. and then i think the second instrument i was liquidator by winston right yeah but Ansi collins very creative youth yes and all of us grew up in a water house you know yeah. and that that's drive. some great names we mentioned so far you know yeah man everybody knew we are called a great man of the moon right to the yeah. surface yeah but believe me though sly sly even the, even the student in, in engineer marvel because if you put a, 
ordinary drummer around a drum set. Yes. It's like the method do a lot of things. When, when them put slide around the drum set, it's like the song already mixed. <laughs> but him tell me the him tell me the secret, man. Him tell me the secret. Yeah. Cause we talk, you know. And when we talk, we say when we are play, me, me listen to your line and the line. I mean, the drum for match it. Yes. And when him a play, me listen. Listen to yeah, match no, it. No, no, this is a lesson for some of the young musicians because we nah, take nothing from these not young musicians. But you listen at the long time song them and compare them to now. Total different thing. The feeling of the day again, man. And, and they're not good at, at, at creating um, bass lines and, mm. you know. But I go and do some workshops, you know, because... Yeah, do some workshops. Because when I, when I go and, you know, I don't like to know some of my regular music up the same way. Yes. Seriously. Continue with it. Yes, man. I, 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 I'm not selfish that way. Yes. You know? Yes. So now, yeah. we could take up a thing a little clear though. <laughs> yeah. So you voice officially, mm -mm. and you did that for... Who you did that for? Damper? <laughs> no, Damper tune is a tune and push it up. Push with it up, With yes, the term right. Yeah, okay. So you are, you are in Vernal to push it up. Yeah, yeah. You are in Vernal also recorded, do the rock steady. Yeah. Right. But how long you have, uh, the term right last? It lasted then? about two years. Two years, okay. okay. Or close to two years because Vernal is a bossy guy. Though. Yeah. And then, <laughs> a lot of people never really like him still, but that's a different thing. Yes, yes. And it, it caused me, if some guy chopped me up in my head, yeah, yeah. man, yeah, man, and they made me split and say, you know, something. My, head, my big cut, nearly yeah. dead. We're from a head chop, sir, Pops. Yes, yes, man. Death not death, I tell you, when you look at my shirt, it was a white shirt, it turned red, the whole shirt. So, so I'm glad to be alive. Yeah, man, I'm happy to survive that, man. Yeah, so you know. So that was the trigger as to why we just, you split. Mm -hmm. is, he, is he still in the music? No, man, him, him, him passed about four he years now. He passed on? Yeah, four years now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Them call him Wenty. Wenty. Wenty with Vernon, Wenty. Mm. So after, after you and, and Sir Vernon split, how your journey progressed? In terms of um, solo? Artist? Yes. I start to. I, just, I found a little group named. Um, um, the t All right, you see the J's? If you know the group, I mean, the J's. Yes, man. Familiar yes. with the name. But, well, two of those guys, I used to sing with them afterward. Oh, okay. And then. Um, I used to like the techniques, you know. Used to like with the, the, with sound. the, the, the sound. The sound, just the technique sound. Oh. So we actually sound like the techniques. So we go down there because Winston used to produce tune, you know. Okay. So he said, yeah, man, you sound good, man. You sound good and thing. So he record a song, a song called um, The Reason Why I Love You. Yes. You know what Winston do? Winston put it as the techniques. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look up that song, you're going to see, see the, the techniques. techniques. But it's not, it's really me and um, these guys, you know. Your guys? Yeah, my guys. Um, so... That group split up, yeah. and I, I started to go solo. So I make slaving. Slaving, but even before slaving, not mm. not not cutting you. Yeah. Didn't you actually become a part of the techniques to replace Pat but, Kelly? Yeah, that, that's the time, you know. Yeah, but it never, I never lasted too, too long because because I look move there. Uh, yeah. mm. <laughs> but um, there's another song named um, "Say You Love Me." Yes. Right. Uh, and, and a couple of songs will lead with the techniques too. But some of them never released. Some released it on an album, but I say lately. Right. Before he passed. Before, yes. You know. But um, and then that time you have Dave Barker. You know that you know that guy? Yeah man, I'm familiar with the name. I'm not Dave sure. Barker is Dave Cal Dave and Nancy Collins. But Dave Barker is a great singer, you know. Oh. So he was also in the mix at my time. Okay. When Pat Kelly leave and thing. And another guy named Digo. You used to sing with a group named Sensation. <laughs> they sing, though those guys may try to put you down. Yeah. That group. So while the solo vocal part of the journey, mm -hmm. you then became a part of what? Officially what? Skin, flesh and bone? No. No? Officially came out before I joined Skin, flesh and bone. Okay. It was while I was at the stable club. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And 
And then the, the, the funny thing about it, you know, when, when I leave Stable Club now and go to Tit for Tat, all the crowd who used to come to Stable, come at because I already that. made it, officially it was popular. Mm. And the club just take time. And decline. But you have to know if you treat people still, you know, when, when you're doing business and you have people working with you. Have to, and that is one of the problems that they had, you know? Yes. Dickie Wang was a nice Chinese. Both of them was Chinese, you know. Dickie Wang was okay. But, um, yeah, so we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so much things to say. Yes. Mm. You know, so, then, as I say... But at the time you were working for Treasure Island, mm. who else you were working for? Um, Prince Tony and yeah. them people. In terms of studio? Yes, yeah, studio. Yeah, man. But it's about two songs I play at Treasure Island as bass player. No? Okay. One with Justin and it's called Come Here to Drink Milk. So me have a little style where someone like gunshot. Tuku, 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 on the bass. Yeah. But them say, anytime you come into the studio, when Duke will have the liquor store, studio upstairs. But them say, anytime I'm coming in the studio and start to laugh, and say, ha, 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 I'm going to fire shot in the studio. Yeah. Real gunshot. Yeah, but Duke will well. <laughs> and I say, no, what is this? Mm. I know I don't collect. I don't care, but I just go away and never come back. <laughs> because I remember, you know, gunshot at them time, you know, the 60s. Yeah. It's strange. But them say, so, him went like a gun salute. And that's yeah. where it started, man you know, and then man started doing a dance hall. The man, but here I'm just, I'm just like a ninja, you know. The okay. Yeah, man, he was an old police, you know. So he have one gun strap, you know. He have a rifle over his shoulder. He <laughs> have dagger, you know. And he don't laugh. <laughs> so, and when you come duke it for audition, you know, and you say, next, you just leave. Take yourself. Yeah, man. All of these was fun, you know, when I look back at it, you know, I say, oh, yeah, but you said that, you say, you go and go study and come, mm -hmm. and duke it, you say, next. And you have to know, say, if I look at you, you know, when you, I, I, I group, I forgot the group, the name, a studio one for audition, and I say, eh. Uh, scare my scare. Uh, 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 uh. And Kian come in. <laughs> I said, Dad, say, you give me the instrument, I'll give you the vocal now. Kian come in. Kian come in. Well, that is a little joke yeah, within well. the mixer, but I tell you. <laughs> so after your and Vernal split, mm. yeah, you were working for a different producer, vocal or bass? No, I used to produce my own. If you notice, so you went independent. Yeah, if you notice, all of my songs is Park Slave. Yes. So uh -huh. like slaving and Park mafia slave. and mafia. Park Slave. Park Slave. Yeah. Even if you see them on other on label outside the country. The German, all of them songs. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you take up a thing early then, man. Yes, man. And the truth about it, you know, uh, maybe some of these songs are very bigger. If they, if they, if they have if other it, people, I'll push them. Exactly. And that is why most of my songs you know, becomes like, you call it now, collector's items. Mm. You know? All right. When I went to Brazil, the first time I went to Brazil, I went there with Dennis Brown. Because I, 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 I worked with Dennis Brown, Street being his musical, yeah. musical director for like 19 years. Yes. Because he was Joe Gibbs artist. Yeah. And he ended but, up at Joe Gibbs. Eventually. Yeah, but even before that, me so because the first time we went to England with Dennis Brown, two centimeters. Um Dennis Brown, two centimeters and Al Brown, that package, mm -hmm. and so forth. And then we find that when we work it's like magic together. So Dennis Brown said, you see this man, this man's like my credit card, you know, I don't know, go without him, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. always tell the promoters that, you know, but 19 to 20 years, musical director, mm -hmm. like Parks, really people band, was like Dennis Brown's band. Yeah. As I said, Dennis, I could deal with the Dennis situation then, because we'll deal with it mm -hmm. later. You said the first, you went to Brazil with mm -hmm. D Brown, mm -hmm. and his last tour was in Brazil. The last tour was in Brazil, too. What do you remember mm -hmm. about that tour there? The last tour. The last tour. I, I remember that Dennis Brown was eating like crazy. Like maybe four or five times in the day. And then when in the morning when the, when the housekeeper come, you see, she bring like a trolley and a whole heap of plate. 
I didn't know what was going to happen, boy, but trust me, it was really eating and it was strange. You meet a lot still, you know, but yeah. when in the Brazil there. But there know. were some, some strange things happening leading up to the tour, though. You know what happened now? I figured that there was some virus or something in the Brazil. Mm. Okay, everybody, some people start to get fever, some people start to vomit and all kind of thing. And even when I came back, I had to go to university oh, to sick. check out myself. Not really sick, but I oh. feel like I can't breathe properly. And, and if Minister of Health came here and checked me, I said, no, man, yeah. Minister of Health said, when you went to Brazil, was there any stranger from Africa or anybody? And I remember one man at breakfast, a lot of Africans. So I don't know if it could have been, mm. but something went wrong. Yes. Um, so the little story is that when I went to Brazil, um, I realized that um, people say, you knew the star. I said, what are you talking about? But what happened, Trojan used to release my thing in England. Oh, okay. So the pirate, my album in Brazil. So, so by yeah, the time man. I reached Brazil, man, I, I, I did a, a song, for, a Elvis Presley song called The Wonder of You. But yeah. them, call, them, always say, them call it Nana. Nana. Because the other part of the song say, That's the wonder, the wonder of you. A Nana. I don't know when Nana means in a Portuguese, but that's what I'm sick of. So they say, You have to do Nana. So I say, Which song name Nana? That's when I, I had a very little stint before Dennis Brown, you know? Yes, yes. And they said, yeah, no, 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 please. I said, okay. So, the next year, yes, they sent for me and Gregory now to come as, uh, as um, uh, another concert, Pepsi Cola yeah. sponsored, I can't remember. And when they say, like parks and the really people, man, it's like, the band started and we have to stop. Yes, and my info, Sir, Sir, Sir Parks. You almost got up on that tour there. Yeah, because um, Gregory was in Florida. And Ma it was Max Jerome, yeah, Gregory Isaac, and Dennis Brown. Right? And we all board a flight. Um, guys, we were supposed to catch a flight from, um, from uh, Miami okay. to San Luis, Brazil. So when we go there you now, and then Gregory was supposed to meet us in the airport. We go, we never see him. And D won't say, boy, we're not going up. He said, my goodness. I know so we sleep in at the airport, and the next morning we catch a flight and come back to Jamaica. Oh. Because I said, it no really make no sense. And me started to say, somebody go and pay for them airline ticket. You know? Somebody go and pay for them, which is totally the same thing. However, when we come to Jamaica now, I say, um, Gregory ready. <laughs> yeah. When Gregory ready now, he bounce the boy in the night, you know. So go back to Miami and come back again, you know. This is when I say, I'm not going to go now because I know this is a problem and somebody going to pay for the ticket. <coughs> However, everybody agree now, so I'm going to go. So I look like, I don't want, like the troublemaker. So I say, all right, I'll work with it. However, we went and the, the tour went well in terms of performance yes. and everything. You know, but... Um, when, I, when we leave for come back to Jamaica, Dennis Brown was there. We still there. Man, Gregory is like, stay back. If you have fun, I don't know what it is because <laughs> guys, you know. Mm. Maybe just to uh, tour the place or I don't know. And then when I came back to Jamaica now, I think Dennis Brown went to Miami and then come. And then I hear that um, Dennis Brown wasn't well. You know, so I said, what is this? So, during the time when I tell you I went to university to do an x-ray, to check out what was going on, I said, Dennis Brown and his brother, let them have a place scream off. And then, um, oh, you saw him there? Yeah, his brother said, Dennis Brown is saying, I said, what? What are you doing around here? He said, boy, I'm not well. And I said, go, go look for him with the curtain. I said, nurse. I said, my band leader and a nurse. Okay. He <laughs> said, so deal with me a thing. And he said, I want some tea, I want. And he said, they must go and admit him. So 
Mm. Um, take him and admit him. So when they admit you, you get the tea. So I went to him and everything. You see, the next morning, I was on the front with my machete on my lawn, and he said something. The machete fell out of my hand, man. I couldn't believe. So that was that little part, you know. It was really, it was really touching, man. Man just dropped out like that. Just like that? Mm hmm Cardiac arrest, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what, if it's a Brazil thing, trigger it off or what, but that was the report, you know. Great man. Huh? Now I said, great man. Yes, man, Dennis Brown. You played on some of his biggest songs. Should I? Yeah. Love has found its way among many others. Yeah, we just go and mention the hit song. Love has found its way. Yeah. Should I? Love got a hold on me. Um, inseparable. You're inseparable as well. Yeah, because, but the album is. You're on the whole album? Yeah, because the album is. Foul, one of them is called Foul Play. Vision of Dennis Brown. Um, Vision of Dennis Brown, what did I name again? Words of Wisdom, mm -hmm. Inseparable, and um, I think a four to five albums. You know, um, Love at Phone It's Way, that's a great song. It's yeah. one of my, my favorite, favorite Dennis Brown. Yeah? Yeah. It's a pleasure, you know, playing on that song. <laughs> oh, it was born, you know? Yes. I'm coming to the studio with a guitar and we just catch a bass line and. Magic. Really mm -hmm. Linda. Was he easy to work with though? Very. Because Talented. I uh, you see Dennis Brown's voice. Once you hear him voice, you hear a bass line right away. Melody. <laughs> melodious. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So how you end up doing a Joe Gibbs though? Because you met Dennis through because he was Joe Gibbs. Mm. Trump oh. cared at the time. Well, as I say, you know, but from when I make official and then bass line, everybody said, boy, Robert, everybody want to play. Right. So I play for various pro producers, you know, whole heap of different producers. But when I reached Joe Gibbs, they never want to let me go. Mm. Yeah. And that band was uh, and then, and the then, revolutionaries and, well, and professional. Uh, no, at that time, no. Because, you see, it, it's a funny thing, you know, because I was a part of revolution when it just started. Yeah. You know, but... It happened that um, end up at Joe Gibbs. So, so, so we slide on and play Channel One. So revolutionary was at Channel, Channel One. Channel One. And, and Joe Gibbs now call us the professionals. So now the CM set up CM set up people. Voila, voila, voila. So <laughs> when you guys were at Channel One, yeah. you were the revolutionaries. All right, here it started. I started there. Yeah. But then I went to England to do some business, and when I come back, Ranchi start playing bass, Ranchi. Yes, Ranchi. So, stick as a bass player for Channel One. Oh. So I play for Joe Gibbs, and then Sly would come over on different days and play. We play for Joe Gibbs as a professional. So Sly around both studios. Both studios. <laughs> Sly did a run things when I tell him. Sly was running things. Yeah, when I said run things. <laughs> <laughs> so at Joe Gibbs, you guys were the professionals. Right. And over at, you were the revolutionaries. At Channel One. Channel One. So as I say, <laughs> revolution it was Channel One. Mm -hmm. um, Ranchi was really, and and it is skin, flesh, and bone kind of mature into same thing. Same, thing. same, same people. Same people. Same people. Yeah. Mm. See much, well. Same people. Yeah, man. <laughs> but you just end up kind of spending most of your time at Joe Gibbs. Yeah, man. Why mm -hmm. the money was better? No, it's just was... that it's just that them not going to use no other band, no band that bass player, yes. Sly and Lydie and Sly. Whoever else play, it's just Lydie and Sly. Lydie and Sly. <laughs> you know because there's a little story on this song. Um, how could I leave? Yes. The rhythm was we leave the rhythm with um. You know I call the drummer name. You might come look for me. And, <laughs> and, and, oh, the, the bass line, they, they are rocking about. And Joe Gibbs come in and say, Carly, this life, for me. and this life come, he said to the I mean, I can just pay if you don't play. Yeah? And he said, slide drop. Pan, how could I leave? You can't listen it back. Great slide out back. It's it just like something. It might be the ingredient. Everything. It's just magic. No, so they know that. Um, so while I'm at Joe Gibbs, you know, them, 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 yes. slice, 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 slice. And everywhere, everywhere you go, slice, slice, slice. Everywhere, come on. <laughs> Producer, slice. <laughs> slice was God. Slice was Musically. God. Musically. Not them days, I tell you. 
The great man, man. Yeah, man. The greatest. The man just creative, man. The man creative, man. Mm. I mean, I talk because I'm a friend and we grew up together. The man creative, man. You know? Because the truth is, you know, slide on bar, light bar, so we the people. Yeah. Leroy Sibbles. Mm -hmm. The Tomlins. Mm -hmm. And probably Brian and Tony Gold. Yeah. Probably, and the most songs doing things in the history of the music. Yeah, man. Well, Sly and Robbie. I'm not just a Sly. Yeah, Sly man. and Robbie. And yeah, man. Robbie and my boy, too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> if you interview Robbie, I'll tell you, say, he used to come and steal, come watch me and beg me a play. Yeah? And you know why I really respect the youth, eh? I can tell you. You see, bass players, the man always have a complex. Like, them don't want to say this man, say, boy, I'm better than you or anything. I was at um, a Jim Riley funeral and Robbie passed by there and Glenn Brown and some other bass player were there and Robbie come and, and me the dead and Robbie come and I said, you see this man? I used to come watch this man and cry, you know. And the man said, I said, cry, I said, yeah, man, I used to see him, I want to play like Lady, man, you know? And I give him credit for that because it's not a lot of bass players do these things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's good behind my back and in front of me. Yeah. And I, I, I have interviewed Sly, but I have interviewed Robbie. Yeah, I respect yeah. them kind of people. Yeah, mm. yeah man. At Joe Gibbs, mm. you were not only playing bass with man like D Brown, and you played bass with people like the Abyssinians. Yeah, this man. land. Monster song. Boy, well, no. If it's him, tell you, I is here, research. I research, man. Boy, you're good then, man. <laughs> Rate you, trust me. Yeah. But, yeah. Nice job. Yeah, well, give that. Yeah, man, I play a whole heap of song. A whole heap of song like mm. when I went federal, you know, I play a song like Dopey Gun Man. That are Ernest. Ernest. Ram Goat Liver. And all them tunes. Yeah, man, guys. My thing a bubble up. Now, Pluto, Pluto Sherwin, man. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Him, him still around? Him live, yeah, he's in Florida. I'm going to find man in there for him, though. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to find him, you know. We're trying to get the link. Yeah, man. We know you, you give us all the I used to like how we're talking. I'm yeah. still have to give credit to some credible musician like Willie Linder, you know. Yes. Do, even though simple in terms of production, and, mm -hmm. and I have to give credit to you, you know, because yeah. I'm telling you, we learn from each other, mm -hmm. you know. While, while, while you're amongst great musicians, yes. you learn from each other. The same thing with Skeeter Lights, Jackie Matu and all of them. Great. Jackie, Jack, Jackie, Jackie Matu too, a lot of guys bass line, you know, and just play it on him, in, piano, in and I'm saying, play this. You know, so. So you were, Jackie was at Sir Coxon when you were, when you used to Yeah, it's, him, there. it's Jackie Matu who played on my song, but I never knew nothing about bass playing yet. Yeah. You know, but. It's a pity all them guys are really end up still. Right, right. Mm, Sad story, re, re, re Jackie. I mean, the man put into his, his foundation musician. Mm. I mean, you see with scatter lights, you know? Yes. Leroy said, I best keyboard player ever come across. No, man, him, 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 him vibe. Yeah. He may just play two notes and you can dance to it. <laughs> That's how he is. Yes. Speaking, so we're talking about some of the people who you played for at Joe Gibbs, the Abyssinians. Uh, yeah, they were part of the uptown top rankings. Uh, we soon come to Dana Altia, man. Yeah. We'll yeah. part that look at it, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Itals, the Gladiators, the Abyssinians. Yeah. yeah. Dana and Altia, uptown top ranking. Yeah. Big hit in, 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 in the UK as well. Yeah, Number one? Yeah. Mm. You see, that's the thing, you know, where it makes it remarkable, you know. It's, it's really the, the mark that you, 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 that you make in this thing, you know, because yes. you have a lot of great bass player here, right. but it's, it's, it's your contribution and your mark that you make counts, yes. you know, and so forth. And that's why I still have to talk about a rabbit, too, you know, because <laughs> the man they really go through yes. as a foundation as well mm. and so forth. And I'm not biased, I'm not biased, you know? Yes. Um, Everything I own can both. Mm -hmm. That was a big song in the UK as well. Big, big, massive. That song because, because, was number one? Yeah, because you didn't have the Beatles at number one, you know. You said Beatles are Rolling Stone, one of them big artists. And Everything I own is number two. And it moved it and go number one. And it's a reggae song. Reggae song. That's not an easy job. Can't be easy. No. 
what were some of the other songs that you, great songs in the, in the history of dancehall, what we in the history of reggae music, what we don't mention mm. that you played that? Uh, let, let me see if I can remember just the hit songs, then, because <laughs> hundreds of songs, but <laughs> like, um, you sang in here, I feel like crying, up to mercy, Delroy Wilson. Yeah. All right, I can't remember that. In the one other song called Suspicion, every time it is me. Mary Sam and Groovy Little Thing. The doom, the doom, the doom, the doom. Shut down. Yeah, um, let me see. It's a lot of songs, you know, but it's have to just come back to me, you know? A lot of songs. Yeah. Is it safe to say that? Get a girl, Dennis Brown, get a girl. Get a girl. Is Love Gatta Woolen. Love Gatta Woolen. Is it safe to say that Lloyd Parks has played on, or has played for anybody in Jamaican music who has achieved greatness? Yeah, honestly, at one point, I could have easily said that every artist that comes out of Jamaica play. At one time or another for Either them. Either for back them on stage or in the studio. Back, yeah, both. But mostly, um, on stage. On stage. And the last, the youngest set now was like um, Romain Virgo. Yes. And um, Christopher Martin, who was a young artist, so I can't remember. Did I play for I think I play. Yeah. Yeah. I play but for but in the day. Beanie and Bounty. And... Beanie and Bounty, because we used to do, I used to do dance style, you know. Yes. In you know, the early days, but I baptized about 15 years ago. So you like that, and then I say. <laughs> Uh, no discrimination, but yeah. sometimes the behavior of the artist, and I say I can't really uh, deal with righteousness and stand up and a man start to talk things on stage. <laughs> but I love them the same way. Yeah, Trust well, me, virgins see me, but that standing and then again, yeah. I'm a big man, mm -hmm. you know? So, but all of these artists, yeah, being a bum tip, super cat, Shaba, Freddie McGregor, Dennis Brown, Marcia Griffiths, Marcia Griffiths Alton Mary Ellis, Summer. John Holt, everybody, everybody. Upton Lewis, everybody. Justin Nines, Lord Creator, everybody. Lord Creator? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, so. And so I enjoyed the journey. It was a pleasure, trust my mind. You know, no regrets. Yeah. You know? So, like, you want to put me interviews with Sir Parks? We don't do that, you know. Eh? <laughs> In 1974, yeah. Lord Parks and We the People Band. 75. 74, 75. 75. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, the problem. I say 73. 74, 75, 75. I pick 74, one nine me go then. <laughs> you know probably what happened? It probably it really started late 74, you know? Yeah. And then 75. You kick down your road. Yeah, yeah. Then me not so far off then. So no, you, you, you're skillful, man, I tell you already. <laughs> <laughs> what led to the formation now of one of the greatest bands in the history of the music? All right. You see, when we were at... Um, Joe Gibbs? No, 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 no. When we were at um, Tit for Tat Club, oh, tit for tat, okay. the band broke up and I was suggesting that, why we don't just get with instrument and car? I had a dream, you know. So, why well, you not get your guitar and me get my thing and thing and thing and thing and... And certain people didn't respond to that. I said, okay. So, they used to use some speaker box, them called Shore. Right. I don't know if you know, you know what sure, man. So what the I do, I go stand the motor and I take it out from my eye I have it in my room. I take about 18 months to pay for two years. Yeah. Because I want to make me sure so I want to start a band. You know? yes. So I started that and then there and there and then <clears throat> we start to farm we the people. Cause even one time Slidey come jam with me as we the people. Oh Slidey did you know we the people in the one, early, was one come, of the people when I time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask my to the drummer then. Drummer. Yeah but I'm get no trouble easy man I'm a friend but I'm get trouble easy man. Trouble. Yeah. I got a great I was a rush you know but I never have the proper equipment and thing but I have a great um respect for this man. A man named Mr Jones. He have a great club named um Keg. Keg. Down on Orange Street but um and he had a resident band there, but the band broke up. Yeah. So I go there and I hear some of his instruments. So I say, I want you to sell me the little organ there, you know. Uh, yeah, the man tell me, he say, watch out, take everything. Yeah? Take everything and pay me where you can pay me. May that man soul rest in peace, man. It's so what really give me that strength 
to farm with the people band and to carry on. Mm. And I was shot to rush and thing and then Clan Circles used to do a promotion. The great the, Clan Circles. Used to the Christmas morning show a Carib Theatre. You know? And then incidentally, <laughs> the band was just we the people. Farmers, we the people, you know. Oh, yeah, those farmers, we but the because people. Because I already had this name, name Lloyd Parks, and officially. Every promoter started to put Lloyd Parks and we the, the people, people. by. So, so, so it stick. It stick. You know, but Clan Circle used to do a lot of Christmas morning show, man. Christmas morning country. That time you are youth, man. You don't know about that thing. <laughs> Your mom can't tell about them. And everybody look forward, you know. Nowadays, Christmas time, people look forward to breakfast and things. Yes. You know, man, stage show. Stage show. <clears throat> then you have stage show at Carib Theatre, you have stage show at, at, at State Theatre, and you have stage show at Regal Theatre. Same Christmas morning. So one would have start at 10 o'clock, one start at 12, and one start maybe 2 o'clock. Mm, so everybody get them. So them, people them leave from Carib, go to State. You know where State Mall is? Yes. It was a theatre, you know? Oh. That's what they call it, State Mall. And, and then Regal now is where, where Azan is. Right, where right. the tax so. office is out there. So exactly. Regal Plaza, yeah, man. Wait, wait, wait. So, Things were different them days, man. Fun, a lot of fun, man. Mm. And then you don't have to worry if you can go to a party and walk home and nobody in trouble, trouble. nobody in a rabbit. Who don't were have the no original fun. We the People? Original was um, Bo P. Bo P. Passed the day. Yeah. Franklin Bubbler Wall. Keys. Keys. Dean Fraser and Sachs. Nambo Robinson Great and Trumbo, Chico Chin and Trumpet, and Devon Richardson, master drummer dad. Uh, I'm teacher, I'm teacher Edna man. You know. Okay, and you were on bass and guitar. And it was great. We the people and great man. That's the original. <laughs> but I get a joke though, you know, a lot of musicians Use it, we the people are stepping stone. I don't know if I call it that, like past. You know, you know, get some experience. Because um, Alden and uh, Andel Tucker was a part. You know, Andel Tucker we produced Maxi Priest. Yes, familiar with the name. Yeah. I'm guys that passed through Mallory Williams, yes. passed through as keyboard player. And you said Arsmouth and Slide did a jam with you one at the time. Yeah, but, well, yeah, that was an early stage. We never even met the name yet, but we just. Okay. And but, very exciting journey. I would do it all over all again. All over again. All over again. After that one. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. You, you created something that has lasted through the, the, the changes in the music. You mm. have played, as we said, for the Oizo. Yeah, man. You have played on Sunsplash, Sunfest, yes. Anakin Star Times, Stars yeah. Are Us. That's another story again. You know. When from inception, when these guys come, uh, Ron Burke and, um, can't remember some of the names, Dan Green and just four of them, they really introduced the real reggae festival to Jamaica, mm -hmm. you know, because they've come with proper sound and lighting and everything. Professional settings. Everything. And, when they, they said, like, they said well, I, I, I offer you X. I couldn't say no because it's the biggest money. <laughs> yeah. No promote, you know? Yes. Respect to them. So, them all just come for light parks, man. And we the people, man. And it grew. Sunsplash get big and thing. And then, Sunsplash come in and... Sunsplash kind of die out. Them come to light it again. <laughs> <laughs> just that them don't, when they, you know, them don't really continue. No respect to them, because yeah. they, they, they give me them, give them two of it too and everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because respect. you were given a lifetime yeah. achievement yeah. award by exactly. some fest. Yeah, you know, so, you know, feel no way about that. Then, start time. That's another thing, a part, important part of my journey, because I get the opportunity to display my skill. So, Fullness so of the skill yeah, set. Because when they, when they come with various artists, the African back them, you know. Because every artist is kind of different. Different. Mm. And mm. I really enjoy that. That was like my party, though. When I look forward I to it. I think it's that. I like my party, that. Yeah. You know, so give thanks again to Michael Barnett and Keith Brown, the, 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 the um, founder of Heineken Star Time. Mm. Mm. Another time, I maybe can tell you it started, you know. 
certain. Mm -hmm. mm. They used to be down by ocean uh, and they start a little thing uh, in, the, in the, the lounge. Yes. A little bar like. And they start to swell up and I'm going to the poolside. And they start to swell up and I end up at peppers. Yes. You know, and peppers couldn't go like this way they went to um, mass camp. Mass camp. Speaking about mass camp, you promoted a show at mass camp mm. when 28. 17, 18, there, there about? 20, 2018. Yeah, what's the name of that show again? Genuine some, Gold. Genuine Gold. We know mm -hmm. some it gold. was some anniversary. Some anniversary. It 44th was the first anniversary <laughs> of Light Pass and with the people. Well, you have elephant brain, you know. Because <laughs> 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 you can watch me, say, watch me say 44. It's 44. Uh, 44 right. Because Steve, um, one of them cooler sent me, well, don't wait and do it for 45. It's really 44. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from being one of the greatest bass players in the history of the music. You are also you have also done very well for yourself as a vocalist. We spoke about songs like Officially and Mafia and Ordinary Man and um, Mon Jam for Money or Money, money for, for Money for Jam. <laughs> and so Holy Patron. You you fell in love with bass too, but the vocal part of the career looked like you kinda of did put it on a little break. <laughs> you see, you see Instrument is a thing that steal you away from anything. Steal you away. And believe me, I love the sound of bass. I love the sound Sometimes of bass. I sleep you know, and I hear bass in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly. And people say, Lido, why you? Will you stop singing? I say, I'm not really stop singing, but mm. I'm probably I could have do the two of them at the same time. You know? But you see, it's always best when you put a hundred into what you love, you know. You know, in other, in other words, if you're going to do something, you do it right. Yes. And that is what happened to me. Mm -hmm. So, even nowadays when I go to the dub plates and things, people say, where well, is It's because I wasn't using it. Well and preserved. I, and I don't sit, smoke and I don't drink. Mm -hmm. And so them can't believe how my voice sound and things. But it, it's not too late, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm here. Other songs in the repertoire, Girl in the Morning, or In the Morning Girl, yeah. Trench Town Girl. Wow. Some whole heap of other songs about that. Whole heap of stars, a version stars, of stars. Stars, yes. Mm -hmm. But the catalogue must smile, sir. No, sir, well, when I really check back, because everybody, <laughs> <laughs> everybody start to put up stuff, you know. Yeah, baby hang up the phone. All of them songs. That song nearly going to the British chart, you know. Baby hang up the phone, mm -hmm. yes. It was released in England, still. Ah. So, you know what happened now? Yeah. The Lloyd Parks. And we the people band. Yes. Most people thought it was somebody else. So people been looking it, it, since I start to the dub plate now, them realize that it's the same person. Like them I look for this person and can't find him. It's really a serious story. Realize, uh, no, and then the same person. Yeah, man, a man come to me and do A man come link here and do some holy for dub plate. And I didn't yeah, hold it, and I didn't believe it when him say. You but never. but it's because them start to find out. Say, okay, Jim, sing them, 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 man. Of, of, the, of the, 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 the artists that you have played for in the studio, studio first, which one of those artists you enjoy those sessions the most? It's always a vibe. Ah. It should have been Dennis Brown still. B. Brown. I, I, the, 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 uh, the, the one tune I played, Barris, me enjoy it too, because it didn't have a vibe to you know, Goofy girl. little thing, Goofy, goofy little thing. thing. Yeah. And I'm, one of my favorite artists that you know. One of my favorite artists that Sir Barris, yeah. a legend and, man. Yeah. Me I try to find him, but I can't and, find uh, him. And uh, in terms of working with artists, I enjoy Freddie McGregor too. I have a nice vibe too, you know. Freddie AG. General too. General too. Mm. So, um, general then. You know. On stage now, in front of thousands of people, which artists you light up on the stage behind her. <laughs> Beat the guitar. We tell you the truth, it's so many. So many. You know, it's going to be hard to really name out. But I can tell you, working with Freddie Dennis Brown Freddy and, and, and Gregory Brown. Isaac, mm. many more. Yeah. But them guys are not miss. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Yeah. Ken Boot, Ari Sandy, Josie Bell. Mm. But the big better man, Admiral Bailey. <laughs> Fun. Fun, <laughs> yeah, man. Admiral, a great performance. I really, 
Mm. No one the the the, the bass the instrumenting teeth from from the vocal guys. Mm. Really enjoy backing artists. Yes, yes. You yes. Know? And I think I was here for for that purpose. Mm. People yeah, might you're wonder how oh, come that purpose. That yeah. deep in the surface. Yeah, but yeah. That deep in the Yeah, because when I look at it, all one at a time I can't remember that. Because sometimes you have problems, you know. Mm -hmm. And Dean and them guys were there, you know? Right. And then um, them left, leave and thing and so watch your man. I have to pick up back this thing, you know. And that's where you get the second set of musicians. Tony Green, Everal um, Gale and Trombone. Mm -hmm. Tony Green and Sax, Everal Gale and um, Trombone. And Everal Ray, I'm called him Stingray and Trumpet. And Go out there and bam, it work again. Work again. And this you now start to bubble and get a call from the Jamaica house. OD. 1999. You know it. You know, so I know I start to feel confidence and, you know, Look like that more confident. To yourself, yeah, right? yeah, because I said, because listen, I didn't win anybody you know, to say, well, go is a, a friend thing. Right. They said, must have been the work that I put in. Mm. And I was grateful for that, you know. Ah, uh, there are distinction for contribution to Jamaica's music industry. Exactly. October 25, 1999. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Sir Parks. Uh, yes, well sir. deserved. Yes, you have sir. also been awarded to Jerry before. Yeah, yeah, I Close get a life some fest, lifetime award. Yeah, and I get a um, lifetime uh, um, achievement from um, Jaria and Musgrave, Musgrave, Musgrave right. Medal, and um, some proclamation from the um, United States. This, the, the state, the, um, in New York, because okay. we did we did the um, symphony thing with Freddie McGregor and so forth, mm. and John Wood. The same similar that we did in London. Yes, Freddie brought it to New York. And I got all these um, award pro proclamation from the um, state the council. Council. Mm. Right. Good achievement at again. Very man. good. That was good. And I also get it in Miami from the same county. Yes. You know. So I, I still enjoy. As I said, the journey was yeah. exciting. And going back I, to the to the vocal aspect of the thing now, we have mentioned the songs officially. Mafia, Ordinary Man, mm -hmm. Money for Jam, um, Trenchtown Girl, the whole of this baby hang up the phone and them something there. Which mm -hmm. are those songs, you know, you get the greatest joy from listening again. Or, or performing. Alright. Listening, officially. Officially. <laughs> performing, Mafia. Mafia. Because <laughs> yeah. you know the Mafia, everybody the whole place to sing. Yes. Especially in Europe. I don't really do Mafia in Jamaica, you know. It's mostly the Europe side. Because uh, what I've noticed is that um, the people in Europe, they like more like a culture. They don't go for a lot of love songs in Europe, you know. Mostly but in England, England, like mm. London and Birmingham and them places. But, but they like root song and, yes. and, and, and message song. Message. You know? So I would say officially, because when I listen back to officially, they say, well, yeah, yeah, it sounds good, you know. <laughs> it's so good, man. <laughs> Bigger piece of that song there, Sir, Sir Fox, eh? officially. <coughs> man, if we can still see. Yes, man. <laughs> well, I feel a little better since you came home. I feel a little easier since you've returned. But I hope it is real this time, my love. I told you how I feel this time, my love. And this for the girl. But if you want to be my queen, you've got to be officially. You say you want to be my bride. You've got to be officially. 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 <laughs> Who is Sir Park's favorite bass player? That is not himself. Who is? My oh okay okay yes. okay okay. Well, internationally, the Motown bass player. I don't remember his name. Mm -hmm. Great, I always listen to him. My favorite bass player, reggae. Yes. I maybe about three. Three. Mm. Val Douglas, Family Man. Family Man. 
Rabbi Shakespeare. Yeah, Rabbi. Uh, Not discrediting any other bass player, yeah, but I'm just Not saying. Not telling you're, you're I'm just favorite saying the my favorite bass player. You can't discredit nobody if you're a favorite yeah, sir. Yeah. I'm just saying that, that in case people don't want to <laughs> say, well, I'm not saying me. Yes. What many people probably don't know is that Sir Park's musical heritage continues through his children. But before we talk about that, how many kids you had, how many children? Well, um, it was eight kids, four girls, four boys, and last two boys. Oh, I'm so sorry to yeah, hear that. One, one with a heart condition mm -hmm. and one a man shoot him because he get mixed up in um, some, some drugs. Some things. Drugs thing. Uh -huh. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, young, 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 young. kid, too, but. Mm -hmm. Stay away from drugs, youngster. Good suggestion. And elders, stay away from drugs, not a nice Great thing. Great suggestion. You're hearing it from Lloyd Parks. Mm -hmm. I've experienced my kid, lost my kid because of that. Stay away from drugs. Yes. It don't make sense you want to try drugs because if you see what it done to other people, why you want to try it? No cur kill the curiosity. Kill it. No drug. Craig from left side on Esco. Left side mm -hmm. is your son. Craig is very talented too, you know, because Craig reminds me uh, uh, with Sly, uh, um, Sly, because Sly yes. used to play the sister play. Left side used to play, the, when we come from supermarket, I'm going to play the box. That's drum. And said, so, Daddy, I want you to buy me a drum set. I'm going to buy him the drum set, and trust me, I never teach him to play. He I just start to play it. And, again. Yeah, and then at one stage, he was a drummer for we the people. Right. When, when Devon Richards just left, because Devon said, because they, they had a band called Duplicate, you know, um, my kids. Um, mm -hmm. my, so my first one, Tamika. Tamika, Tami 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 and Noel played the bass. And it means mean, to play as Mob, it means to back up Beanie and Bounty. Yes. The band called Mob. Yes, so. So Left Side was in that band? Yes, after him leave my band. So, jump, Devon said, like, you make Craig play the drum, me leave, make him play. I couldn't understand it, but he, he, he used to listen to them like a youth band and realize that, um, him have the potential. Okay. And trust man, him kick it man and him did well. Yeah. And then him, him figure say, I want to do something else, him doing production, production and, and, and thing. And it worked for him because him play some, him, him program some nice with him, like Pandy River and all them mm. thing. Yeah. Them tunes, him do them, a lot of stuff. And him do stuff. And the tuck in your belly with him and all them. Yeah, and, and stuff with Sean Paul and all them thing. And make some nice thing. And Tamika plays the keyboard. But she, yeah, but she lived in Florida now. But she, she, she play for church. Oh, she and I church. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And Craig, you, Craig is a twin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... His sister is called Rachel. She plays? She, she used to sing in the oh, band. Oh, she's a sing. Mm. Ah. But the thing... Mm. I go down your line, sir, sir Parks, well, man. Have, you must uh, be proud, man. Yeah, must. All right. Um, I have a grandson now. Well, more than one grandson. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but there's one called Q. Q. I think him just signed a major label. Yes. You know Lenky Man then? You know Lenky Man? Lenky son. So Lenky son is my grandson. Music again. Music again and him talent is just a shame, man. Yeah. So it's in, it's in the blood, you know? It, it, it in the blood. It's in the blood. Yeah, man. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. Which, 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 which are the songs? Solar songs has done the best for you from a financial perspective. You don't have to tell me how much money you know, but tell officially. me which, officially. Mm. Officially is the official money. Yeah, man. Officially. <laughs> officially. Trust me. Yes. Speaking about money though, Sir Parks, <laughs> when I interview artists from your ear before, during, the, up to this time, one of the, 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 the common complaints is that, you know, some artists, some entertainers, some musicians are struggling as it relates to collecting from their work, royalties and publishing, how are things with you as it relates to that? It's really a problem because you see, when we start doing music and things, we didn't know about certain publishing and things. So a lot of these songs you see out there, we, we are in the process of trying to get a good lawyer to search and scan and the thing and collect what we're supposed to get. We, we get a raw deal and unfortunately, and I really feel sad for some of these great musicians who make this, all this great music and die poor. Hmm. I'm not saying that I'm rich, you know, but, yes. but the money that I make is not the amount I'm making is what I do with it. Right. You understand? But you should have gotten a lot more than you earned. Plenty, plenty more. And believe me, it's not too late. So I'm in the process now of um, 
getting a good lawyer to scan out all of these things and make a get what I'm entitled to, you know. But you own many of your songs though? Yeah, man. Which is good? Yeah, man. Which is good. So at least I don't have to worry about them one day. No, no. <laughs> you know. Looking at the journey, Sir, sir Parks, yeah? Mm. What would you say is your single greatest achievement thus far? That thing that when you look on it, you make you proud, yes. All right. Can we um, achieve that? Credibility. Um, it makes me proud because um, I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, you know that um, I was doing a research on you and everybody had talked to them said, no man, this is a decent guy and you know, they don't really have anything but I, and I felt proud. But musically you now, when I look at my contribution, it's like... You're not happy so, man. Huh? May I say you're not happy or so? No, mm. not, no, not, no, no, the feeling that mm. it gives me, you know? Okay. Because, all right, if, if, if you say we're going to put on a show right now, eh? Right away I start to put 100% and I, and I make sure so every artist gets satisfaction and all of these things. And I can remember when I used to go to Studio One, you see? Before I start to record and I go there just to peep, just to, and go back, I say, guess who I say? Alton Ellis. I say, Ken Booth. He say, two lines. I say, yes, man. And then became their musical director. Mm. You know, do a feeling, good feeling, more than money. More than, more money. than money. Yeah. And then me and Ken Booth you now, right, like the best friend, you know? Yeah. And I say, yeah, man, me and him move good, man. Ken Booth, the good guy, you know? I speak to him so well. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything I can tell you, but them, right, them so. guys they have good heart, man. Yeah. Can we go up and tour and come in the gate and I'll blow me down and say, Lady, we may blow in and answer. And, well, this. So, where is this? I get everybody on the tour. Where is this? I have to take it. I said, All right, I can buy some gas with it. That's the type of person can do this. Mm, nice man. No other artist. You do a show with Ken Wood when you finish? Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Not every artist do that. He thanks you for your input in the show. Yeah. But, um, as I say, I have to say, the journey was great. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything we you achieve musically at Sir Parks where you still hope you achieve or something? I, I, I hope to be in a position where, where, where financially, where I can. Um, so every month and you know, every weekend, uh, I, I make maybe like 200 or 300 bucks of food and can give the guys them on the street, the, the, the people by the sidewalk. Uh, Honestly. Give back. Yeah. I want to be in a position to give. I want God to preserve me that I can be able to do that. Mm. Up, From my heart, you know, yeah, serious, man. serious. You know. Because I can eat, I can buy, I can heat, I can drive, I can buy gas, I can pay yeah, but you can take I care want yourself. to be in a position mm. to do that. And this is coming from my heart. Like, I can't tell lie, this is a God thing. Can't tell lie about that, and I'm serious. Because mm. yeah, sometimes I wonder, oh, people have so much money and people starving, and, you know. So that, one, that was one of my um, mission yes. that I want to accomplish. It's a go, it go up, man. Remember, see, see, yeah, some man I, I look for anything, I can collect anything. You say, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust them, I can't yeah. guess right. anything you say, and you say something I want to know, or you know. Oh, so, at a research, so, right? So, um, research, but... As I was saying, um, I'm in, uh, um, putting some energy in, in uh, this um, young lady that running a school band competition. And oh, okay. I have the opportunity of being the judge. She, her name is Raymond, Ray, Raven Amani. Raven Amani. Amani. I'm, I'm always one of the judge, oh, okay. judges. So, so it's a what? High school type competition? It's primary school. Primary school. And, and um, the infant school. Oh, okay. And, and high school too. Yes. And I remember one time I was judging and I saw some kids from, um, I remember the school. infant school. I mentioned it earlier. And, and this little girl was playing a bass. I said, but am I seeing right? <laughs> because to learn to play a bass, first of all, your finger has to burn it and clean up. Because you know the string is steel and she played the bass. And I had a bass that I bought, you know. 
have it in my house, it's brand new, and I just contributed it because they were the winner. They were okay, the winner. Yeah, and yes. I just contributed. And I did that more than one time. So these are things that I really want to do, and that's why I'm a part of the um, school band competition. competition. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looking at the journey, Sir, Sir Parks, is there anything that you would do differently if you get the chance to really the musical aspect of the journey? Um, the only thing I do different is trying to get all my things together, like, like in the terms business of part business of part business. of it together. And, and one thing, it is good to have representative. Because mm. when you think you know, you, don't, you really don't know. So it's like to have people to represent you, you know. You have a representation, you do your music, they represent you, they do your business. Right. It's the best way to do it. Can't do everything on your own. Yeah. So that was one of my mistakes. Uh, mm -hmm. So listen to the youngsters then. Yes, man. Get somebody who is knowledgeable at the thing yes, man. to help you through the thing. Yeah. So you can just concentrate on making music, uh, writing good songs. Yeah. Where is your favorite place outside of Jamaica for Google Profound? You know, I trying to compare Europe and Brazil now. You love Brazil because Brazil people love my body. But you're not star dog, me man. <laughs> nana man. <laughs> nana. Wow, Brazil. 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 Como esta? <laughs> so you love Brazil. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you know go perform yet? Because I'm assuming. All right, Africa. Africa. I've never been. I've never been to Africa. With all I, of the people you tour with. That was my choice because oh. I, I've learned that um, it's hard to get your money out to Africa at that time. At that time. And then if it's a government inviting you, well, you're fine. But if not, problem. Mm. And I always refuse. And then the guy will go and say to me, I just get burned. But really and truly, I really love to the go and culture. experience the motherland one day, soon. So? Yeah. I got that good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah? You have, you have worked, <clears throat> Sir Parks, with the always win of the business. I'm assuming that when you go on the road, you perform for some massive crowds. Yeah, you can't remember the crowd that was stand out near Edward said, I can't believe there were so much people in front of you that. Um, Water Tom, Sunsplash, 70,000 70, people. people. Who were you backing? Um, who was that now? I, um, I think Marcia, Marcia. Babandi. It's more than one time I've been to that festival, oh, okay. you know, but I can remember one specific festival. And um, Frankie Paul, mm -hmm. and I think, who was that artist? URI. URI? No. Um, I can't remember, but that is the type of the type of um, gathering, man. Seventy thousand people, and sometimes more. Yes. Yeah. You have been doing music from your teens, seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, yes, eighteen. Eighteen. Well, yeah, seventeen. Most of your life. Most of the life. Most of all your adult life. Exactly, because um, when I when I record the album at studio, when I was eighteen years old. That is. 67, I think. 67. Mm. Mm. So music has been what you have spent all your oh, life. life. Is there anything else you love enough, Sir Parks, outside of music where you think you yeah, do for put food on your family table if it was the music you're doing? All it was, would it be art? Because ah, I was a good you love to draw. draw and uh, teach. You, still, you do any of that? I don't, I don't oh, need yeah, to anymore. I could have once upon a time, I could look at you and draw it. Yeah. Then take us on time because I'm here big enough, Sir Parks. <laughs> But everything, but you love, you love dry. Yeah, man, maybe. and funny, you know, you see me Craig, you know, left side. Yes. And then I have a little, pick up that too. And I have a little grandson now, you may hear about him. <laughs> Another, and he's six years old. Yeah. Playing guitar. Yeah? Yeah, and he loves to draw as well. Mm. I'm going to send a little thing to you. Yeah, send it, man. Is there anybody in the music, Sir Parks? You mean, we, we, we spoke about some of the legends, but is there anybody else in the music that Sir Parks was instrumental in bringing them into the music industry? Mm. Outside of we the people? You mean as singers? Or? Singers and, and, and instrumentalists too. Well, um, boy, so many, you know, because um, it's not a matter of bringing them into yes. the music, but inviting them into we the people. And they use it and 
as a stepping stone. Stepping stone, as I said. Uh -huh. You know, because even Roddy Thomas, Roddy Thomas was, um, I made him the lead vocal for when I had We The People Band. Yes. Can we just like play the bass and make him sing? And I tell you something too, when we used to tour with Dennis Brown and Dean Fraser was there. Yes. I realized that this is a great sax man, you know. Don't hold him back, you know. Great day. Somehow I just put him up front and mm -hmm. um, when Dean do him stinking, mash up the place and say, yeah man. Mm -hmm. Dean Fraser was a promising youth from a long time and I saw it in him. You know, we used to tour with Dennis Brown and we make Dean do him thing up front and it worked. And Dean blew away. So who's that guy? I said, yeah, man. Yes. And, you know, it really helps, you know, to, to where Dean is today. Yes. Normally, the band is not huge in terms of numbers. You know, we have lead guitarist, bass, yeah. Yeah. drummer, keys, and probably sax or trumpet, right? Yeah. You once played as part of a 20-plus piece orchestra somewhere. That was, um... What was it? 2000 or 2000? I'm trying to remember. When we play, oh, well, that was the peak of my career. Peak I, I, of felt, career. I felt like it was peak because, yeah, reached. because I say I knew I didn't know that I would be able to play with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So I was like, oh, so that was, was in the UK? UK with Freddie McGregor and John Holt. And we were all dressed up in tuxedo and bow tie and thing. And, it was really classy, you know, and I, I, it happened, and I said, yes, 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 yes. So even after the concert, I said, John, what are you going to do about this? Because while we're performing, you know, the people I'm from the back of the audience come up on the front just to touch John Old and touch him and gone back. Just to touch John and But this is like a rolling stone thing, man, yeah. like a Beatles. So when she was said, John, what are you going to do about this? Because, I mean, He's like Elvis Presley, one of them guys, so no. <laughs> but he never take it really. He never like, take it never uh, really. Another great man that you Sir Park. Yes, man. The Golden Vice, man. Golden Vice. John Holt. Sir John Holt. Sir John Holt. Freddie Allen called him Sir, Sir John Holt. Mm. You know, but so, as I say, I've really enjoyed the journey. You know, and I would do it all over again. Yes. Maybe just with a little modification, try and do it better. So you, have, you have enjoyed the journey, sir, Pat. Yes, You man. continue to enjoy it. Continue. Still in love with the music. Still in love with it. You said that you love production. Have you done a lot of that? Yeah, man. I used to produce an artist called Portia Morgan, you know. Yeah. Um, and then she migrated to Europe and thing. Uh, I've done, I've done, I've done song with um, Sugar Minot. A song called You've Got the Love. I've done a, a version of um, Gypsy One of the Leroy Siblings. Mm. And um, who else? Um, not much, but and most, mostly with myself. Right, right. You know? And so forth. But um, as I any, say, any, any, any plans to do some more work production wise? Or? You, you know what happened with the production wise? You have, you have a lot of talented artists in Jamaica, you know, you know but guess what happened now? There's not much market for, for, for the music now, you know, because you can't just go online and get anything you want. Right. Nobody's not buying for vinyl like first time. You know, that, that market is limited. Mm. And that's the streaming a, thing kind of there now still. Yeah, the streaming downloads. thing. Because, all right, for instance, I, I see a talent and I say, all right, I'm going to record this artist. The first thing I have to do, it, it costs much more to produce now. Studio time, musician fee, and you have to do a video after. Whole, whole, whole and, 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 all the bases. Right, and at the end of the day, you know, what you have to earn is like you're doing somebody a favor or you, or you have to sign a deal agreement with them that, okay, when, if your boss, whatever show mm -hmm. you do, I have to get a percentage and you can spend your money that way. But, so that's why you have a lot of talent here, you know, mm -hmm. but nobody not really recording them. And, yes. and some of the talent you see, I just out there you now is, 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 is the artist in, investing themselves. Right. True. Mm -hmm. Which is true. Yeah. Which is true. Is there anything about, because you would have been here through the changes in the music, sir. Yeah. yeah. Where the music is at today, is that some, something that you're comfortable with? Or is there anything that you would adjust or modify if you had the power to do so? I would. All right. You see the dance hall beat? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Excellent. But it need coloring 
like things that you can do after you have the drum and the whatever on it, that you can dance to it, you need other things you can do to it. You can put good lyrics to it, you can sing a love song and dance a rhythm, and I've not seen that happening. Just you just think about it. Just sing love song and you see him dance all with him. Instead of the chatting, chatting, chatting. I mean, you know, I don't want to vex with me, you know, but I, I'm just, this thing me and teach them. <laughs> so, no mad, you know, I, 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 I can't be biased. Yeah. So that's what it need. And I'm sure, need I'm sure when I, you, you guys going to do it, you know, you're going to try it, you know, that you hear it from me, you know. Uh -huh. You're going to try it. Just colour the thing, man, and sing love song and the dance all with them, see me, and see if you don't make some money. I have a, um, there's a song with um, um, Tonto and Devante, something like that. Tonto Metro and Devante. You don't Everyone see? Everyone falls in. Ah, uh, you hear the song in him? Is that the, one of these uh, foreign song, artists yeah. here? Love song. Mm -hmm. And it's a dance hall thing, and I'm doing it over and sell Wilpa Records. So you see the same thing I'm saying, you know? You need to make a thing stand up, man. When you, when you compare songs from 80s, 90s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 60s, 70s, 90s, and listen to know. We need we need lyrics like that. We need good lyrics, man. Need good lyrics. Yeah. Sir Parks. And you know, say it's it's a, it's an international thing, you know, because even the American art music breakdown the same, you know? mm. Yeah, man. The great musicians don't have a chance to play. They do much. You hear some song, you say, boom, boom. Nothing. No coloring. <clears throat> <laughs> so, most of the great musicians, they used to suffer, go through suffering and hard times. And sometimes when we're playing, we think about some hard things to you know. Yeah. As much as, all right. <laughs> when we were in the studio playing, you know, we started, we started to imagine that, say, for instance, we have a um, skate line then, the sound system and thing, and we imagine what the bass line sound is, speaker. You know? Yes. And we say, skate line, I don't know, you know. So it's, it's obvious something that motivates you, mm. you know? You know? And, and I have a style, like, when the artist comes into the studio, like, said D. Brown, I start to sing my final bass line, because my voice is so mellow. And I have a thing, maybe because I'm a, an artist as well, I just know what will fit. Yes. It makes it easier, you know? Some of the... Mm. Big name bands down the here ears. You have Sagittarius and yeah, the Rough Cuts and yeah. some of them ones. Rhythm, King. Rhythm King bands and all of them bands. Mm. Which, which, which one of them bands that you enjoy? You know, standing <laughs> up in the crowd and just a med, just a listen. Well, you know, say it's going to be Sagittarius. Sagittarius. <laughs> by me, by me, it's played it. By. But so, sometimes they are just afraid of him because yeah. he started the show, you know? He must start the show. But Derek, yeah, nice, <laughs> Derek. good bass player, man. Yeah, yeah. so Sagittarius. Sagittarius, yeah, let's enjoy. Mm. And I think Derek feels the same way because he used to come watch me too. Light pass, I enjoy all the people. Mm. But outstanding bass player, only Sarah said he leave, yeah, because he's in, 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 in New York now. Yes, a lot of the, a lot of the, mm. the artists are overseas, as I am to, learning. Yeah, he used to do well, man, with the dance hall artists too. Mm. I think they missed him too. Yes. Yeah. You tell me who are your favourite singer? Barry says, eh? No, man, we have so much favourite yeah, singer. So I can tell you. <laughs> I have a lot. I love De 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 from Delaware with Ken Booth, mm -hmm. John Holt, Barry, Freddie, Dennis Brown. Those are my favorite singers, really. Imagine you have a stage show with all of them people. Do, yeah. Those are my favorite. They are my favorite reggae singers. Reggae singers. You know? Mm -hmm. um, R&B, me like Teddy Prendergast, Curtis Teddy Mayfield, Field. Curtis Mayfield, Teddy Prendergast, and Luther, what's name? Pandas. No, no, not Luther Pandas. I'm James Ingram. Oh, okay, James Ingram, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love Patti LaBelle. Patti LaBelle, mm -hmm. as female, and Aretha Franklin. Yes. Is mm -hmm. Mr. Parks a married man? Well, um, I was married. Oh, he was married. And um, divorced. Yeah. And so forth. Um, so, like, are you there to get trouble, sir? I, 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 I'm, I'm looking, I'm thinking about what the future is going to yeah, bring. Looking at the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know? She ought to man. She ought to man. Yeah, man. I become light parks and we the people again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Parks, for the yeah. people out there who are watching and want to get in touch, 
whether for bookings or dub plates, how do they go about reaching out to you? Well, um, my email address is lloydpark67 at yahoo.com. Repeat. Lloydpark67 at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. And um, my um, cell number 315-0834. That's 315-0834 with 876 in front. You know, mm -hmm. and um, I'm on social media. I'm, um, I yeah. can be found. I can yeah, be found. Yeah, covered sir, parks, man. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Just Lloyd Parks. Huh? What, what's your handle on those places? What's the name? Um, Lloyd Parks officially. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Make a lot of sense for the young aspiring entertainers, be it vocalists, instrumentalists who, you know, kind of struggle to find their feet. What kind of encouraging words you have to leave with them? First, A, if you get the chance, practice every day, right? B, whatever you're doing, do it the best of your ability. If you're not going to give 100%, don't do it. And be respectful to people and, um, you know, because you have, you, have <laughs> you have some a lot of people that just want to hold them back, you know. You have to no, be no respect. Manners. No manners, no manners. The manners, them call it no manners. <laughs> you know, so that is one, you know. And um, remember, reggae music is our music. No matter what kind of um, paperwork you have, or you can play jazz and reggae music, that is going to put food on your table. That's our music. It don't make sense you go to Europe and you see some white guy playing music better than you. And, and it, 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 <laughs> regular music was birth, born in Jamaica. Yes. Because I go there and ready and see the guy, they were kicking and I said, right, kid. <laughs> yes. So, practice up and regular music is our music. And younger musicians, younger singers, love your music and love your culture. Lloyd Parks said that, man. Yes. Father Parks. Lloyd Parks, OD. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Great man. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. It's a joy. Give sir. thanks to the honor, you know, because I, I do exalt myself, but I love to be exalted. So I give thanks. Fair enough. Yeah. We are putting the work, man. You yeah, work. well, yes, man. We do some work. <laughs> do some work. We do some work, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and as I say, I'll do it all over again. Mm. Love it. Yeah, man. Thanks for the contribution to the music, Sir Parks. Yeah, man. We really appreciate welcome, it. Welcome, man. Not only your personal contribution, but other people who you bring forth and make them can take care of them family too. True. And, and bring the music forward. True, true. We appreciate that. Yeah, and man. And also that the music continues along the family lines and things. Yeah. Them something it's a blessing. And it's a joy to sit down here, Sir Reese, with the man. Yeah, man. And, and, and see the humbleness of the man too, <laughs> having done so much and, and rubbed yes, shoulders with, yes. with so many people. Yes. Down the years. And you know, I have to give God thanks, you know, to the Almighty for preserving me up to this time, because um, from 18 years old, I'm 72 years now, and I feel like I'm about 27. 27. <laughs> give God thanks to that man, you know? Yeah, man, that so, job works, man. So it's job works, as you say, that it's not works. just... And the blessing, thank God That's for the it. blessing, too, you know? And when you live a good, clean heart still, you live long. Yeah, man. Good, yeah, clean yeah, life. Yeah. Sir, my next song, my next song is a is a song called um, "Falling in Love with Jesus." Yeah, the gospel tune. Yeah, but it's a reggae, hardcore reggae. reggae yeah, yeah. yeah. Me lick it hard, you know. It, it, it voice already. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Mm. It, it it will be premier um on reggae field too, um soon. Soon. I think. Yeah. Thank God for everything. Yes. You know. As I said that, yeah. sorry, the music yeah. can be found on the digital play store, iTunes, Spotify. Not places. yet, but Not I'm yet. in the process. Yeah. I mean, all of, the, all of the world. Oh, yeah, man, it's going to be. You're getting it there. Yeah. yeah. That's um, the same thing, you know. Of course, of course, of course, of course. So you can make some money over there. So yeah, start out sure. the thing. Yeah, man. Bigger boss. Yeah, man. Out of love, man. Give thanks, man. Give thanks, man. You know, thanks for having me. It's a joy, man. Teach them the best thing. Teach them. Slaving. Watch that. Slaving officially. Big right and big up to the boss. Because we are teach them. Yes. Alright? Blessed love to all people all over the world, man. Teach them. Yes. I beg a piece of slaving before we leave. <laughs> Just a couple of lines, man. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, man. <clears throat> I wonder if you see. This is one of my first solo songs, you know. 
I'm slaving every day for my living, slaving so hard. I'm working every day in the coal mine, working so hard. Ah, 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 ah. My wife and my kids are crying, crying so bad. My wife and my kids are sighing, they look so sad. A man can't get no money. Can life be so funny? What's wrong with my plans? Oh yeah, sleeping every day. Sleeping every day. The poor man song. Still out of that, brother. <laughs> the poor man song. That. It's a song for the poor man. Sir Fox. Yeah, man. Blessed love, my brother. Ah, that love. Ah, that love. Be Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!